Hello, I'm Nancy Coles, Executive Director of Kids in Danger. Kids in Danger, or KID, was founded in 1998 by the parents of Danny Kayser, who died in a portable crib in his childcare home in Chicago. Most parents use cribs, strollers, and other products for their infants and toddlers without much thought to safety, assuming that if it is for sale, it must be safe. Tragically, in Danny's case, it was not. The crib's faulty design allowed the top rails to collapse, not just for storage, but when in use by vulnerable children, strangling them. His parents learned that the crib had been recalled five years earlier. Danny was the fifth child to die in this product and the twelfth to die in cribs of the same design. But nobody knew about this deadly product in their midst. Not his parents, not the child care provider, and not even the state inspector who'd been at the facility just days before Danny's death. When another baby in New Jersey died just a few months later, they realized that the problem extended far beyond this unsafe product that while the portable crib was the physical cause of Danny's death, the actual cause of death was a system that had failed to ensure this product was designed and tested for safety prior to sale and then failed again when it came to alerting the public and removing unsafe products from homes and child care facilities. Danny's parents founded KID to improve children's product safety with a multi-pronged strategy. Our mission is to promote the development of safer products, advocate for children, and educate the public about these dangerous products. Kids' tenacity and effectiveness, despite its small size, have had a huge impact on safety, on a systemic level, as well as for individual families who have been given the tools to keep their families safe. In 2007, the groundwork Kid had laid, along with recalls of lead-tainted toys and deadly cribs and media investigations of the holes in our product safety net sparked a public outcry which culminated in the passage of the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act of 2008, a key portion of which is named after Danny. Because of Danny's law, we are now seeing substantive landmark reforms to children's product safety. In June 2011, the world's strongest crib standard went into effect ensuring at long last that parents will have a safe sleep haven for children. In March, saferproducts.gov launched, a publicly accessible database where consumers can submit and view reports of unsafe products, enabling them to protect their children. Stronger standards, independent testing, and efforts to improve recalls are all underway. Danny is one individual face of this problem, but the scope of the issue is staggering. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, in 2009, 88 children were killed in incidents associated with nursery products, and over 70,000 were rushed to emergency rooms. More than two children's products are recalled every week because they contain dangerous flaws that have or could seriously injure or kill children. It is the legacy of Danny and all children injured by unsafe children's products that KID has made significant historic progress toward our mission of improving children's product safety. But our work must continue. Changes of this scale take time, and we've entered a critical period as the new law is implemented and as the need for KID's unique programs grows ever greater. KID has done a remarkable amount with very little funding. Now, with the basic framework of a children's product safety system in place, KID is looking to expand our financial support to allow us to grow our outreach and advocacy work. Too often, we have been unable to respond to a need to educate vulnerable populations or advocate for strengthened oversight on the state or national level. KID is unique, the only organization working on children's product safety exclusively and a strong organization that gives parents a voice to keep children safe. KID has emerged as a leader in new children's product safety landscape. Policymakers, the media, and consumers rely on KID to be credible and effective, and we will continue our work as the voice for parents in coming years. With passion and empathy, KID speaks for the victims of unsafe children's products, in whose honor we continue our work to keep children safe.